guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, I'm going to tie a wee flag called uh, the Ted's Olive. Now it's just a, we're just going to jazz it up a wee bit and add a couple of wee things in. Now the hook in the vise is a Amazon B175 in size 10. You tie these down to a size 14, just reducing um, materials as you go along. Now we're going to put the tag on the back and that's going to be a low right floss in number 12. So we're just going to come in just at the back of the hook to start off our glow bright floss. Just pulling up our wee tag. Then I'm just going to come in and throw in a three turn whip finish. The floss nice and tight. Now we're just we're going to protect this. Now what you could do is if you don't want to use UV resin, you could use uh, super glue and varnish. Just going to come in with a wee drop of UV resin. Then I'll get my needle and we'll just spread this around the, the tie. Bring it down onto the hook as well. sure it's well cured before you continue to tie the remainder of the fly. Yep, just more for protection than anything. Now the thread we're going to use is the uni thread 801 black. So we're just going to come in, get our thread started behind the other hook. Just run your thread down until you're tied up against the tag, and you come in and trim away your waist tag of thread. The tail, this is bronze mallard that has been dyed in picric acid. You can see the colour you get, it's nice and bright. I want these bits here that have more like of a golden olive tinge off the the tips, so we're just going to bring some out from the stem, rip that away, and I want this to be around about the, the length of the body or so over the back, and with a couple of turns to catch that in, come in and trim away the excess. The rib on the fly is going to be an olive ultra wire, to show you the spool, that one there, nice olive colour. Tie that in. You can use an oval gold tinsel. And then I'm just going to run my thread up, tying in these two materials nice and tight just to make for a strong fly. And then work the thread back down and open turns so the body's going to be dubbed. Now you're looking at a light olive dubbing, and in this case, I'm going to use the, the light olive. This one here in the traditional Irish dubbing range. So I'm just going to get a wee pinch out here to get us started. Olive seals for all day, light olive seals for, or even a dark olive will do really. Now, just taking a couple of pinches to get us started. Slide this up. Just going to work her dubbing up the length of the body. Stroke anything that wants to go forward back. The body haggle is just going to be a, a red game. This is just a saddle haggle. So we're just getting a, we'll get a nice wee haggle off here. We usually have these ready, but and speed the videos up a bit to let you and get away to tie if you just want to tie it now just after your haggle up just stripped off the flue 
from the bottom and then trim away the stem of the haggle. Then I'm looking to get three turns, I'm going to put three turns on just up here at the shoulder of the fly, meaning the top of the body. And then I'm looking three turns down the body to this point now. Keep the hold of your tip. Come around with your olive wire. And then you're looking four turns of the olive wire through the body. Anything that wants to go forward, just sweep it back. Bring the wire up in front. Follow this around with your thread. Just get nice tight turns in at this stage. Then you can bend and break away the wire. Then you can break off your tip at the back, or if you're not comfortable doing that, just come in and trim it away. Then just going to sweep everything back and bring my thread back up. Now at this point, you can come in with some Velcro and bring out some of the, the dubbing. Sometimes a wee rough fly works better. Now at this point, the next tackle. I'm going to put in a chartreuse uh, lace wing. This is just the odd wee bit of fluorescent colour, that one there. This is a hand haggle. So, just stroke back the tip, the fibres to reveal the tip. Come around with two turns to catch it in. Fold the tip back. Just bring your thread back up over the tip of the haggle, come in, locate the tip, break it away, and then just stroke these back, we'll do one turn in front of the other. Now two turns is going to be plenty, there, because we have a front haggle to put on. Catch in your haggle, with tight turns, and then trim away the tip. Just tidy everything up down to the eye and back up. Just going to open this out just to let you see it. It could be fly, yes, especially if there's a wee hatch of olives. Now, the next haggle this is a green wheels hand haggle. Waiting for B. Now this is one of the bigger ones, one of the bigger haggles, and I want it a wee bit larger. So we're just going to offer this up, bring with a couple of turns, going to fold the tip back again, bring your thread back up over the tip on the haggle, come and locate the tip, bring it away, and then just stroke these back. Now I'm only going to look and a half, two turns of this as well. Just the one overdress the fly. Right, that's a turn and a half there. I'm going to catch it off underneath. Come around with a couple of tight turns. And then come in and trim away the, the stem of the haggle. Stroke everything back. Thread to the eye. Just getting the level bit of thread down here now for the for the jungle cap. Now what you could do here guys is you, you don't have to put the green if you want to make it brighter just don't put the, the greens well hackle on the front um and that'll make it a bit brighter for you. Now I've got loads of split jungle cap so that's it there where it's just split already on the cape. Just going to exaggerate this, so I'm just going to stroke back all the rubbish. Come in with my scissors and just cut down the the eye. Now I'm just going to come in with a wee like a uh, wee like a three, uh, wax, sorry. Just give me a wee bit of grip. And I'm just going to come in, offer the eyes up to the to the hook. Room with a couple of turns, and then we'll come in and see what way we're sitting. Happy enough for that. Right, just lift your jungle cock up. Nice pair of sharp scissors. And because you've put the wax on, you've got the grip there on the 
thread. Get a wee better cut on this one. Just take another wee bit off that. Come in, hold your eyes, bring your thread to the eye of the hook. And then just build up your head. A decent wee head on the fly. stage. Then yeah, once you're happy that you have, I'm just going to come in if I want a whip finish. Pull the thread nice and tight, come in and trim away your hand thread. And that's the wee fly done. Now all we'll have to do is first coat on the head. Just a wee drop of super glue. right the whole way right round. Once that dries I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish just to seal up the super glue, stop the moisture blue. But there you go. Now if you want to tie Ted's off just leave out the tail, leave out the jungle cat and leave out the, the chartreuse lace wing haggle and that's the original Ted's off. So Hopefully you've enjoyed that guys, you just got something out of it. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video, I really appreciate it, thank you. If you like the wee videos that I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And until next time, please stay safe and tie lines.